In this example, I have 1 over 1 plus cosine plus 1 over 1 minus cosine x equals to 2 cosecant squared x. Let's see what we can do here. So what we can do, we can have common denominator first. We start from the left hand side. It's going to be 1 plus cosine x times 1 minus cosine x. And here in numerator is going to be 1 minus cosine x plus 1 plus cosine x. So, here we add them. These two cancel out. It's going to be 1 plus 1. It's going to be 2. Here I have 1 plus cosine x times 1 minus cosine x. Is the difference of squares as... You remember we had it many times, so we have 1 minus cosine squared x because 1 squared is the same as just 1. So 2 divided by 1 minus cosine squared x and as we know because sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals to 1, so 1 minus cosine squared x will be equal to sine squared x. And sine is the inverse of cosecant and cosecant is the inverse of sine. So that's why we have two times cosecant squared x.